asking people because the, the demand is so much here as well as in other countries. So these are the two major challenges which I see uh, we have to go through where somewhere government help is required and somewhere industry is to go through that kind of environment and increase the talented pool. This is what I think. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think that was indeed uh, very helpful to see um, and scare all of us what happens if tomorrow we don't get cross in. <laughs> and I'm sure that's something which worries. <coughs> all right. Uh, thank you so much. I would like to ask, uh, Lauren, with your um, experience in India as well as outside, sir, uh, how do you see a vision like Make in India? And I'm sure you must have seen also uh, the all-round enthusiasm in India to uh, make uh, this entire project thank come you. through. What do you see as some of the challenges uh, need not be necessarily at the labor, but then across industry, how do you see some of the human capital challenges? I think first, uh, first of all, I think uh, in Compton, we have, uh, have 15,000 workers and uh, we have 27 factories in India, 20 outside India, which is in Indonesia, Europe, US. Uh, so I think we have a, a pretty good uh, sample of uh, what it uh, requires to have uh, competitive, flexible, and performant manufacturing sector. Uh, I think today, I think my message to, uh, to the people here, and I actually, I apologize, I'm, I'm not Indian, as you know, uh, I love factory, I spend a lot of time in my factory here, uh, so please apologize if I'm, uh, if I'm not precise on, uh, on some of the points. Uh, but what is very important, India, <coughs> the Made in India is a great strategy, uh, but uh, it, should not, should not, it should be very well understood. It means that to make in India, it's a, it, it should, to go more than a wish, we need to make sure that we build a competitive India. And I think that this has been mentioned by, uh, by, uh, by previous uh, uh, speaker on the world is not just competing within India. Uh, the world start by China, uh, and in our field, in electrical field, China is a very big competitor, not only for the Indian market, but also for export market. Port a lot right now in Middle East and in Africa, and in Middle East, in Africa, I don't compete with Indian company. I compete with Chinese company. I compete with Korean companies. I compete with European companies and we need to produce. Now, what does it mean being competitive? When you look at competition, if you're in Maharashtra, you will have a certain idea about how to compete within Maharashtra with the people you know, organized sector. Uh, if you look at Japan and you said, now I compete against Japan, I can tell you it's a ball game. You will need to make sure that your uh, the, uh, the, the, the logistic is there. So I think competitive worldwide is what India needs to target. And the question is, what should we do in order to build that? When you build something, you need to think about what are your, your strengths. Take this one. So, sorry. So what are the strengths of this uh, uh, of, of industry? I think India has a fantastic reservoir of people. Demographic is our strength. Uh, young, motivated, and people that need to work, they need money, and they want to, to grow. So I think that's a strength, and I can tell you, 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 India is the best country for that around the world. That's the strong point. Now, there are some weak points, and I think the weak point uh, in terms of, uh, of uh, manufacturing is, is the three that I have in mind that I want to discuss. And again, I apologize for union or anything if I'm going to say something, but try to, to bear with me. The first point is that we need to have flexibility. This is key. Why? We are going to have. We need to introduce new technology in India. We need to bring new type of products. We cannot continue to import our electronics products from Korea. Otherwise, as we said at the beginning, we'll become a big consumer company. But who is going to pay for the bill? So we'll need to bring what people want. Okay, so, and that will require new technology and, uh, and new. To do that, some factory, you know, if you're a manufacturer, you will need to, to, to change. You will need to adapt, you need to be flexible. So practically, when you own factory, it means that maybe the worker that you had for, for doing a certain things 
you might not be able to use them for another thing. I know it's, it's a little bit sad, but I think this is the responsibility of the society to find a solution for those people. I have no problem with that, but for a, fac for a manufacturer, he needs to be able to get that flexibility. <coughs> if I look at the, and <coughs> right now I'm going to make change in one of my factory here in Maharashtra. And I've been at, I had a lot of discussions with, uh, with the worker and with the unions, but India for me, as well, I see if I compare it to China or to uh, other country, even in Europe, it's not as flexible. It's quite complicated to basically being able to shift from one technology to another in one same factory. Uh, you can build a new one, that you can do. But the transition, the flexibility, I think is something that we need to think to see how we can make it a, a, a little bit more uh, uh, flexible. The second thing, the, my second message is on the, uh, on, on the salary and the tax. And my third message is the relationship with union. So that's my free subject, which I think uh, uh, India could improve. On the tax, I, what I'm very surprised, if you look at the low income, which is, for me it's a, a salary below uh, 1,500 uh, rupees per month, uh, this, these are important workers. I think this is part of the competitivity of India, and we have some workers like that. We train them, we educate them, and then we, we grow them with our, with our company. Now, when you look at the level of tax which is taxed on those low level uh, uh, income, it doesn't give them an incentive to work for a company like me. Uh, because this money is taking away from the salary, they would like to have it. And then I see a lot of, of those low-income workers going to the unorganized market. And I think it's competitive uh, uh, workers that I cannot get. So I can get the white collar that I pay high, I cannot get those ones. And I think it's not normal. I think these, these workers are, are critical and necessary for in certain industries. And they, they, we should, as an organized uh, uh, sector, being able to be a very attractive place for those people. And I think the percentage of tax for those law find it a little bit high, uh, even very high compared to, to other country. And my last point is about the relationship with union. You know, I, I'm coming from France. France is very well known for a strong union. And union are necessary. Union are the great thing. So I'm, I'm a great supporter of the union because I think there is a a factory is defending a business. I think the union is defending the worker, and I think it's the right thing to do. However, uh, it's very important to have a very open and straight dialogue with the union. And I think what I find in India is that there are many interlocutors, and I, have had, I, had, uh, I met some of the union leaders here in Maharashtra, and I was very pleased to meet with them. But I find a little bit complicated, okay, and I'm a foreigner, and I apologize for that, this straight relationship, and I think a relationship is that we need to, to agree on the thing. At the end, we need to have competitive and performant factory. There, there is some mutation to do, and the mutation, I agree, we might have to protect the worker in this mutation, but at the end, the factory needs to be able to move. If, if you want to protect everything, if I take the case that happened in certain countries, if you protect too much, you kill. Protecting too much the work is going to kill the work. So let's have this relationship. So again, I'm going to stop here, but uh, Made in India, I think, is a great strategy. Uh, I think Crompton, we are more than supporting that right now. Uh, our big fight is to be more competitive than China, I can tell you, in the LED or in the, uh, electro in the, in the motor sector. But then, uh, flexibility, important. Uh, tax on the, on, the, on the labor, also very important to make sure we shut the end and the uh, relationship with the uh, representative of the worker. I think this is the three things that needs to be worked if we have, if we want to progress and become a, a great country for manufacturing.